You can study all these movies and read all these screenwriting books as much as you want. But writing Filipino movies is obviously different from writing Hollywood movies. In Filipino culture, you may have noticed that not all Filipinos talk or act the same way. Although everyone's different, you can find that how you act or talk might have been influenced by your financial status, social circle, and even location. But what if you're writing a movie about someone who is unlike you in every way? In this video, we're going to talk about that. Number 1. Learn about the different types of people. You don't want to write about people in the Philippines who all talk the same way you talk. I don't care how Filipino you think you are, majority of the Filipinos are still going to be different than you. There are Filipinos that speak English and only English, some speak mix, some only speak Filipino, while some have a different language altogether. Even going beyond language, there are shy types, the tough ones or maangas, nerds that watch anime all day, mga or perverts, and the list goes on and on. You know, there are stories about writers just immersing themselves in the slums just so they can understand the story that they're writing even further. Branch out from your regular walwal friends and meet people that are completely different and actually get to know the person. That is the best way you can learn to write about their voice. Number 2. Watch documentaries. If you're a Filipino living in the suburbs, you probably don't know how it feels to be in a hungry family living in the slums, and hopefully you will never have to. The best way you can familiarize with these types of environments is to educate yourself about them. Watch documentaries. This is a very effective way of actually getting to know these people from what seems like another reality. It's because you can listen to their heart crumbling interviews and know that this is real. Although many documentaries are focused on poverty, you can still get a handful of information on Filipinos living the lavish life from magazines, TV, articles, and you named it the internet. Whatever you are looking for nowadays is within a click away. Writers couldn't do this back in the day. Take advantage of this luxury. Just remember to draw inspiration from these and do not copy them completely. Now, Mikhail, um, what inspired you? Because I heard you were inspired to do this film through a, vi a video that went viral, right? Um, I was 19 years old at the time and I saw this viral video uh, in the news mm -hmm. and I was deeply disturbed by it because uh, the victim was my age. It was a 19 year old boy who was slain on camera. Right. And uh, I saw, you know, a distortion, not just on the video, but in the society uh, I, I grew up in. And that's where the germ of the idea of Recorder started. And uh, so I developed this sequence treatment, submitted it to Cinemalaya. And then when I was a semi-finalist, when they chose like the, the 20 scripts, uh, I decided to get a co-writer, uh, Ian Victoriano, and he, he helped me finish the screenplay. And luckily, we were one of the 10 films chosen by Cinemalaya for the New Breed competition. Number 3. Do not be influenced by mainstream and only mainstream. You'll be surprised with the number of bad movies that come out every year in the Philippines. The worst thing that you could do with your writing craft is to copy these movies. If you're a bad movie critic and just can't tell a bad movie from a good one, I suggest avoiding star cinema movies or anything similar in nature. Yes, some of them are actually pretty good and well written but most of them suffer from the same problem. They use love stories or comedies or both. The reality with these studios is that they write movies to sell not to be awarded or to be critically acclaimed. And the sixth time phenomenal box office star Vice Gunda! Therefore, the artistic value of these movies is often turned down in favor of an aesthetic that is familiarized to the masses. Filipino love stories aren't bad. Just look at spring films coming out with Kita Kita and Meet Me in St. Gallen. The problem with some stars in the movies is that they feel like first drafts with monotonous characters, meaning that they sound the same or just cringy, campy, cliche, out of the place comedic scenes. Magkakaroon ba ulit tayo ng kapangirihan? Mukhang nga kailangan natin yung malaki mong ibon. Kaya kung tinatago mo siya, 
Ngayon ang tamang panahon para ilabas yung malaki mong ibon na kas- Ano yan? Praying mantis! <laughs> ano yan? <laughs> Asong na betchin! <laughs> Wala kang respeto! Wala talaga! Ba't ganun! Ba't ganun! Sige! Isa pa talaga! Isa pa talaga! <laughs> Mamatay ka na! Mamatay ka na! Subo kita sa kapatid ko! Mamatay ka na! Mamatay ka na! Mamatay ka na! Mamatay ka na! No! God! Please! No! 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 Not to hate on them because they do occasionally come out with some classics. But out of all the movies they pump out each year, those are likely hidden gems. So that includes the video. I plan to make part 2 sometime in the future when I do become a better writer. I'm not by any means a pro writer, but I've written a lot of short films and a couple of Filipino feature films which I'm hoping to be produced. But these are what I've personally learned from studying and writing film. If you have any questions or feedback, hit the comments below. And if you like the video and want to see more, hit that like and subscribe button. It would greatly help my new channel.